Hey Sag, welcome to your bonus read with Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a collective love reading to see what's going on between you and the person in your mind and your energy and your heart, perhaps. The person that you are connecting with, okay? This is a bonus read for September. To those who have already subscribed to my channel, like, share, commented, any of those things, thank you so welcome back and thank you for returning. And thank you for your support. I appreciate your support. Your support helps my new YouTube channel grow. It helps me to get these messages out to as many of you as possible. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Sorry, I have a scarf in my head. <laughs> if, you're, if this is your first time here, welcome. Perhaps you were led here by spirit and there's a message here for you. So please pay, pay close attention, please. Never force a reading. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Okay? Never force a reading. Although I'm new to the YouTube tarot community, I am not new to tarot reading. I have over a decade of one-to-one -one personal tarot reading experiences. I mean, experience. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I start this first thing in the morning, and I'm like, uh. Oh. But anyway, <laughs> I appreciate all of you. Cross watches are welcome. Roles may be reversed. I always pre-shuffle my decks. However, I love to shuffle again on camera. If I haven't said it already, this this reading is going to be to see what's going on between you and the person you're connecting with in your energy or in your mind, perhaps in your heart, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull your current energy, your person's current energy, your cards, your challenges at the bottom of the deck. Please stay for the entire reading as I also will be pulling advice cards and oracle messages. What's going on between Sagittarius and their person spirit? What's going on between Sagittarius and their person? What's going on between Sagittarius and their person? What's currently going on between Sagittarius and person and their person? Whenever you press play on this video is the right time for you. Time is fluid, okay? So that's that. So we're gonna get into it for you. Spray, please show me Sagittarius for September. Please show me Sagittarius' current energy. Please show me Sagittarius' current energy. Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. Makes me wonder why you're here. <laughs> Sag um, Spirits, please show me Sagittarius' person's current energy. Please show me Sagittarius' person. Well, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Okay, that's why you're here. very confusing you have a lot of challenging cards and yet you're in ten of cups energy <laughs> perhaps you're keeping your person at a distance and that's why you're still happy but we're about to get into that okay Okay, so your current energy is a Ten of Cups. I'm getting dreams coming true, just complete fulfillment. You're just like, your your essence is so strong. It's unshakable. It's like there's this person around you that cannot shake you. That's how strong you currently feel about yourself. I love your confidence super optimistic no matter what i feel that you're connected divinely a lot of you so you're like well if this doesn't work out i'm gonna be happy regardless that's what i'm hearing um your person's energy is a knight of pentacles reverse i get this person is very unreliable you can't count on this person the connection's unstable um they promise you things and they then they don't live up to it they're not that bright. 
I'm getting that. They're not that bright. Just a very irresponsible person. Um, wow. In the past, I got the full reverse and the, and the nine of pentacles. And there it is. This is why you're such in ten of cups. You're in ten of cups right now. Because oh, on your own, you're very financially stable. <coughs> I get that a lot of you are very financially well off. Very independent. I get a very mature energy with the nine of pentacles. I get that like you're doing well in life as far as accolades. Um at work, you're the type of person that, you know, gets promoted, you get, you know, you get the rewards of your hard work. Very successful. However, with this full reverse, there was a decision that you made about someone. <laughs> the person that you're connected with, with in the past is very inconsiderate and they have, um, they have trust issues. They, they, ne they neglect the connection, this person that you're with, or you were involved with in the past. You feel like that was a bad choice. I'm getting that was a bad choice. Like, I could have done better with this person. So I'm, I'm, I'm taking energy as, at one point, obviously you thought this person was, you know, on your level. But then you realize, I don't even trust this person. This person is selfish. This person has some sort of blockages, okay? That's why um, they promise things and they don't follow through with everything. So in the current position, I got the Knight of Swords reversed and the Knight of Cups reversed. Again, you think this person is draining emotionally. Um, they're very disappointed in, in the connection with this person. You feel they're very immature. And um, their behavior is very unpredictable with this Knight of Swords reversed. They don't, they don't hold themselves accountable in arguments or exchanges and discussions. You just feel like, oh my God, like you don't even really respect the person, but they're around you. But I feel like you're like, it's whatever, like I'm gonna be good. But you know, it makes me wonder why you're not letting this person go. Why is this person still around you? What is the benefit? So I feel like the connection is probably sexual and you're just taking it for what it is. Because you're not phased. Spirit, please clarify, um, why is, what's the appeal of this person to Sagittarius? What's the appeal of this person to Sagittarius? What's the appeal? Sorry, what is this person's appeal to Sagittarius? Please show me in two cards. I got the lovers and I got the five of pentacles reverse. Okay. It's a sexual connection, just as I thought. Okay. With the lovers. And um you felt like with the with the five of pentacles reverse, you feel like you thought that they you, you understood that they were going through a hard time but you thought they were overcoming the adversity of their hard time. And you figured, oh, you know, things are gonna get better for them. You know, they, they had a hard time and they're recovering. That's the attitude that you had. And then you're like, well, and the sex is off the hook. You felt like um, you guys might've had some shared values and everything. That's why you decided to give this person a chance. The reason why you have this person in your energy now is because the sexual connection. Okay. You kind of feel sorry for them. <laughs> this is why <clears throat> you continue to have them around. You're like, oh, I kind of feel sorry for this person, you know? But it's because of the kind of person you are. Okay. You're so, you're vibrating so high that you actually feel bad for anybody that's vibrating below you. <laughs> so in the future, I got the three of pentacles reversed and the hangman. I feel like this person just is just lingering 
in the future with you. You know, I'm getting the three pentacles reversed. They're not willing to learn. They're not, you're, it's like you're trying to help this person get to the next level and they're not receiving it. There's a lack of growth. Your energies are conflicted. This person is just lacking direction. Okay. I feel like you, with the hangman that you feel like you're contemplating what you should do next now at the, in the near future. Like, okay, now I feel kind of stuck in the situation. So what should I do? You know, I tried everything to, you know, you really just went out above and beyond to try to help make this connection work. And again, you're not sad. You're not broken hearted. You're just trying to say, okay, this person's time is come is, is, is almost up in my life. Like, I'm doing everything I can to help this person, but this person has these blockages, and there's just no help in them. So now what is the hangman position? Now what? What, we, what are we going to do in the near future with this person? Okay? So your challenges at the bottom of the deck is the tower and the ten of swords. Your challenges is... This person playing the victim. It's like a manipulative energy, like being confronting this person about their lack of input in this connection. And they try to play the victim. Again, this person avoids accountability. Okay? Um, your challenge is to avoid a complete disruption, collapse. Okay, with this tower. It's like, you have to recognize that this is supposed to break down so that you can move on. There's no help in this person. This person doesn't even want to be helped. They're, they're going to be in, they're in defeated energy. They can't see past that. So you need to realize that this is going to collapse. This is going to be destroyed um, whether you decide to let it go in the near future or not. That is your challenge to understand that you need to make a decision about this. Because it's, it's just, it's not, well, it's not going to work. Okay, Spirit, please show me advice for Sagittarius in the near future with this person. Their person, please show me three cards, please. Thank you. You can't save this person. <laughs> The advice that I have for you is the two of swords, the sun, and the two of cups. Wow. You, you're at a crossroads with this person, again. But I get that um, there's someone else. There's a potential soulmate with this two of cups. With the sun, there's happiness for you. And stay in your ten, remain in your Ten of Cups energy. Remember that you, who you are and that you're manifesting of Two of Cups, okay? I, I get joy, confidence, happiness, and just healing from this person. Yes, for you, you're like, um, I got to make a decision about this person. You're avoiding the decision with this Two of Swords to let this person go. We already see that in your energy now. But it's just like, why? Because you got the sun. That's the most positive card in the deck, okay? Your, your radiance is manifesting a better partnership with someone. Someone who's compatible with you, someone who's balanced, mutually respectful. So you need to, there's a, there's a call for you to make a decision with this two of swords so that the universe can bring in this partnership with this person okay complete happiness someone to match your happiness it's not like you're not like looking from happiness from someone this person you and this person will mirror happiness in each other okay so i'm gonna pull some cards i'm not sure what it is that you need to see but i'm trying to give you some clarity what i feel like is like there's no love lost here <laughs> with this person You're unfazed. But at the same time, I think you feel like I need to help this person. 
for some reason you feel like you need to help this person and it's more of a charity situation than it is um any type of love i get the sex you know the sex is one of the reasons you get that benefit but it's just like why are you wasting your time with this person okay so let's show some cards for you from your purse this person Cord cutting and de detachment. You need to detach from this person. You need to cut the cord. Spirit's asking you to do that. They can't come with you in the direction that you're going in. Again, you guys are not vibrating on the same fre frequency. This person is very, very low. You cannot help this person. You can't change this person. Naked truth. It's right in front of you. It can't get any clearer than what it already is. That this person is not right for you. And you're listening to this and you know that. You know, a lot of times when we ask for advice, we already know the answer. And I feel that that's what I feel from you, Sag. I feel like you came here trying to get some clarity about this person, but you already know. You don't really want this person. You're in your Ten of Cups. Your energy is manifesting right now. Because this is your energy. You're manifesting this Two of Cups. And you don't even see it because you still have this person around you. Stalking and lurking. Okay. I get that this person probably looks on your social media. They're very insecure. Um, if you don't have social media, they're just asking about you. They're looking around. They probably pull up on your block or any of those things. They're just trying to find out what you're doing when they're not around. Because um, they're insecure. They, they Even they know they don't really deserve you. Betrayal. Be careful about this person. There may be some secrets. There may be some things that you're not aware of. You can't really trust this person, and you don't because I got the two of full, I got the full reverse in the past. You don't trust this person. Rebound. I get that this person may be a rebound for you, and this is another reason why you may be keeping them around because just to say you're with someone, you know. And you're like, oh, I don't really care. So I get the energy of you being emotionally disconnected from this person. <sighs> this is a wild situation. But I'm happy to see that you're not unhappy. You're like, you're disappointed in this person. You're like, eh, whatever. They've disappointed you a while ago. You're just not letting them go. I get the energy of maybe you're just saying, you know, I don't want to, you don't want to be alone right now. Maybe it's just, this is something to do. I hear that. It's just something to do to kill time. It's just something to do. It's just something to do. No, you deserve better than that, Sagittarius. Spirit, please show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius. I'm going to pull Romance Angel Oracle messages for you. Show me the cards I need to see. Separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Yep, it's inevitable. Anyway, I said the challenges is, is a tower. Okay, and the Ten of Swords. This is definitely going to happen. This, is, this isn't this in the near future. So you can make a decision about this before this happens. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. There's somebody that may, may already be around you. That you have your eye on. There's somebody that reached out to you perhaps. Okay? Because again, you are. that's why you got this Ten of Cups. You're manifesting someone new. So that's a direct message for those of you who are already speaking to this person. If you have it, you have you're manifesting this person with the with the two of cups for certain. Okay, you have new love. You don't even need to be with this person. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, this person is someone you do have your eye on. Someone Sagittarius. There's somebody around you. There's a love offer. Okay? So what are you waiting for in regards to this person? You can let this person go. Spirit, please clarify. Well, everybody told me that you felt like you was trying to help this person. So I don't even think I need any more clarification. But I, what's to hold? What's to hold that Sagittarius has on this person? What is their hold? Please show me three cards, please. I got the Seven of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Wands.
you don't trust this person. This person is not, is very selfish and not committed to the connection. You know that. And again, with the four swords, I get the energy of just contemplating. You're like, you're disconnecting with this person, but this person is still around you. You gotta let this person know. Go, Sagittarius. You're manifesting something so much better, yet you're holding on to this person. But the spirit, the universe is working in your favor. This connection is going to be destroyed. Okay, it's not gonna last. Something you know, to, like I know it sounds scary, but this is the thing. Sometimes things have to be destroyed so that something new can build, and that's why this tower moment needs to happen. And your challenge is to recognize that. That this needs to happen so that this new love can come in. This is going to be your match. This person's going to match your effort. This is a soulmate connection. So it's up to you, Zaj. What are you going to do? You can even make this decision now about this person. Because I know you know that you're aware that there's nothing good coming from this. This person can't give you anything. You already have everything that you need. And it's Ten of Cups as far as yourself. This person has nothing to offer you. All right. So um, make that decision. Close out this cycle so you can get this new love. So that is all that I have for you, Sagittarius, for this bonus read for September. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this reading resonated with you, please like, share, subscribe, comment, anything, all of, any of that stuff. It, you know, it helps me get these messages out and helps the channel grow. Okay. So I wish you continued healing, happiness, love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.